This ship was abandoned for a very scary reason. Welcome back, Charlie here. The ocean is a terrifying place for many reasons, especially because it's a graveyard for many abandoned ships. But why were these gigantic and expensive ships abandoned? And what happened to their crew? First, we have to look at High Aim 6. In 2003, this ship named High Aim 6 was spotted off the coast of Australia. The bizarre thing is, the ship had no crew. The ship had come from Taiwan. Authorities boarded the ship, and what they found on it led to a massive mystery. On board was rotting fish, the belongings of its crew, fuel, and other provisions. A forensic investigation was quickly carried out, and they found no signs of struggle from any of the crew. They also found the cell phone of the ship's missing engineer, and that phone kept receiving mysterious calls from Indonesia. Later on, a crew member was tracked down. They claimed the ship's captain and engineer had both been murdered, and the crew just packed up and went back home. But what exactly happened to the crew of High Aim 6 remains unclear. Next, we have to look at the Cincinnati Ghost Ship. If you go down the Ohio River for about 25 miles, you'll find this. It's known as the Cincinnati Ghost Ship. This abandoned ship is very old and overgrown. It's eerie to walk around and explore it, but many people do anyway. But why was it abandoned, and how did it end up here? Well, it began life as a luxury yacht back in 1902. It was named the Circle Line. But when World War I occurred, the ship was taken over by the US Armed Forces. After World War I, it became a fishing boat. After that, it became a scientific vessel used for research, and finally became a tourist boat on the Ohio River. But eventually, this boat got too old and was abandoned by the owner. That's why today it's shipwrecked on the Ohio River. Now I have to show you the SS American Star. This is by far one of the most mysterious abandoned ships of all time. This ship was launched in 1940, and at the time was one of the world's most luxurious ships. But in 1994, it ran aground, and was abandoned off the Canary Islands. The ship was going to be sold for scrap metal, but at the last moment, the buyer's bank declined the transaction. So instead, the SS American Star was turned into a floating hotel. But before it could be opened as a hotel, a storm broke the SS American Star. The ship was destroyed on a reef off the coast of Fuerteventura, where it remains to this day. Many say it's scary how unlucky this ship is, leading some to say this ship may be cursed. Moving along, let's look at Shipwreck Beach. This isn't just one shipwreck, but a beach full of them. On the Hawaiian island of Lanai, you can find what's known as Shipwreck Beach. This six mile long beach is home to 12 different abandoned ships. The first ship ever abandoned there is YOGN 42. This is an abandoned US Navy ship. But why are there so many abandoned ships on this beach? Well, the area is infamous for strong winds and powerful currents, meaning it's very common to get shipwrecked along this beach. Some of these ships have rotted away quite a lot, but Shipwreck Beach is also home to ships made from concrete as opposed to timber. And those concrete ships are still in pretty good condition to this day. Because some crew members perished during these shipwrecks, many say that they're haunted. Locals also advise people not to sail near the beach at night. Next, let's look at the Demetrios Shipwreck. This shipwreck can be found on the beaches of Githio, Greece. It's a massive 220-foot cargo ship. The the origin of why it was built and who for is unknown. What we do know is it was built in the 1950s, and it's believed to have smuggled cigarettes between Turkey and Italy. But when it was caught by authorities, it was set on fire to hide the evidence. In 1980, the ship was finally docked. This was because the captain had severe health issues. Because of financial concerns with the crew, the ship never went back out to sea, which is why it's washed up on this Greek beach to this day. Now we have to look at the Kip to Peak concrete ship. You may think concrete is a weird material to make ships out of, but during World War II, the US Navy made many ships out of concrete. They did this because during World War II, there was a shortage of steel. These were used during the D-Day landings in Normandy, France, and were incredibly successful and important for the war. But after the war, these were scattered off the coast of Kip to Peak, Virginia. Some say these abandoned ships are a bit of an eyesore, and others say they look just plain spooky. Moving 
Moving along, I have to show you the World Discoverer. This ship was built back in 1974 in Germany, but today is abandoned off the coast of the Solomon Islands. But how did it end up there? Well, in the year 2000, it struck a reef, causing the ship to fall on its side. The 287-foot ship has been abandoned there ever since. Locals have been begging the government to get rid of this for years, but the government says it will be too expensive and difficult to remove. Over the years, many people have looted this ship. That's because most of its contents was left on board when it was abandoned. Now let's look at La Famille Express. This ship sits abandoned in the Caribbean Sea, but surprisingly it started life as a Soviet ship. It was made in the USSR back in 1953. Its first name was Fort Shevchenko. It was involved in the Cold War, namely during the Cuban Missile Crisis, hence why it's in the Caribbean Sea. When the Soviet Union collapsed, this ship was sold and given the name La Famille Express. But during Hurricane Francis in 2004, this ship broke loose from her moorings and became stuck on some reef in the Caribbean Sea. The ship was never recovered and it remains there to this day. Next, we have to look at the Boss 400. This shipwreck looks very bizarre. That's because it used to be a crane barge. It was being towed by another ship off the coast of South Africa. But that's when a storm broke the tow rope causing this barge to smash into the coast of South Africa. The owners realized it would be too costly to retrieve this barge. So instead of removing it, they decided to simply leave it there to rot. This really is littering on a massive scale. Finally, let's look at the Francisco Morazan. This haunting ship was called the Francisco Morazan. It can be found in Lake Michigan. During one November night in 1960, this boat was sailing across the water, but there was a terrible storm and zero visibility causing the ship to run aground. And that's where it remains to this very day. The captain's pregnant wife had to be taken off the ship and airlifted to safety. Other smaller boats then rescued the captain and crew. The storm continued for many days, causing parts of the ship to break off and fall into the lake. By the time the storm ended, they concluded this ship was beyond repair, which is exactly why it's abandoned to this day. All of the cargo was left on the ship and sank into the lake, and all of the metal of the ship rusted. Surprisingly, the owners of this ship never Never came forward, and that's why it was never removed. Chances are the owners never came forward on purpose. That way they would never have to pay for the removal. That's one of the main reasons why so many ships are simply abandoned. When a ship gets grounded or sinks, it's very hard to remove. For example, it would cost $35 million to remove the Titanic, which is one of the reasons why only tiny parts of that ship have ever been removed from the ocean. It may be worth it for the most famous ship of all time, but the truth is no one really cares when one of these cargo ships sinks to the bottom of the sea. Now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the most mysterious abandoned ship. If you want to see my short videos, then check out my second channel. I've been Charlie, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.